but this is proof positive of things are changing from build to build to build because this is actually faster than it was the last time you saw from older footage from older build hey, what is it this a stance this is then it was i don't know i hope he's just not saying saw. words from older footage from older builds that we've compiled made videos of before on the channel the guard stance into her command grab from start to finish so stance then grab then connect was 15 frames all in all now in this build from start to grab it is now 13 frames so two frames faster so the movement show it? since the last time we've seen it now granted it's not as good as a spinning pile driver because spinning pile driver is five frames not 13 but still as far as it goes 13 frames that is unreactable you can't just see it and then jump out. You have to predict just like every other command grab. Can you show so, it? Norris's grab is a good supplement to our offense. I'm just supposed to believe you? it's not going to be the offense in and of itself. All right, Get I just believe your word. Norris's victory pose. As the... Not nah, believe him. She's really... <laughs> okay, let me, let me turn my camera on. Uh, so the footage isn't really there to compare one to one and then show you thir 15 to 13, which is cool. I mean, whatever. But it could also be the case that you could cancel it later or earlier. If it's a stance, it would only make sense to me that it's at least possible that you can go into stands, wait, and then do it. You know, who knows? So, I don't... Yeah, they maybe they just did it later in the stance. And then the thing is, if this is a cancelable move, what they can probably do, what Marissa can probably do, is something like a heavy punch, stance cancel, command grab. But if it is 13, if that is the minimum amount, then you're, you're probably not going to react to that. Probably not. Unlikely, very unlikely. You, you can't react to that pretty much. 13 frames. And then the, and then if she has options that punishes you for guessing. So I'll, all I've seen from this stance is a kick and a grab. And apparently it has a parry during a stance or something like that. I don't know. Which is something I wish more people said. <laughs> I don't know. This is faster, bro. Uh, but so what you can probably do is set up the command grab off of a buffer. And then if they jump, you hit him with the kick or maybe something that really punishes them for trying to escape the command grab. Or then you do the command grab and maybe that command grab can frame trap off of normals. I can I, I can all but guarantee you there's a way to frame trap with her command grab. If you consider how you can combine things like drive rush. So what you might be able to do is something like with Marissa, you drive rush forward with a medium and then you cancel into stance and then you, you go into command grab or something that is maybe even something that's safe, I'm not sure. I just would like to know more of what our options are off of the stance, but I don't think we have that information yet. I just yeah, feel so win, cautious about being definitive, here. and sometimes I'm guilty you know of it myself Good for her. Good for when her. I'm talking off the cuff now and I'm just like, yeah, round, every time you want to drive impact, drive impact back, but that's not always true. You don't this just seems like it's bad. Nonsense with this, because Zangief is ready to this just seems like, why would you want a wall splat instead of a full combo? <laughs> right? You know what I mean? This looks cool, but is it good? I could see this being good maybe as an air to air. An air to air counter hit where maybe you get more. I don't know. Maybe in the corner you can combo off of this wall splat. If it's like you have them in the corner and then they jump and you hit them with heavy kick. I don't think you actually would land before they do, so I don't know. Unless this part of it, you could drive rush and juggle like OTG kind of thing. But I don't think you can do that either. I just feel like this isn't good. <laughs> I just feel like, why would you want this? It's almost like just bad. Just I don't know. Maybe I'll learn something new later. But it just seems like it's just bad for Zangief. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this match. I have not been looking at Marissa enough. So this is the EX version. So this is the stance. This is the stance. But it's the EX. No, no, no. Is it the EX? Let me look at her meter. No. It's just a parry. This is when it parries. Because Marissa did jab on wake up. Hey, Marissa is going to have some nice stuff. She's going to have some nice stuff. Because this is something that I theorized about Drive Rush. So one of the drawbacks. Dang, Marissa is going to be cool. I think I might play Marissa. That's the armor, not a parry? Okay, cool. But does... What's the difference? <laughs> does that mean it works against fireballs? The interesting thing is, like, parry and armor are very... They're like brothers and sisters. Sort of. Yeah, I guess with armor, usually you would expect there to be an attack that goes along with the armor. In parry, usually it's something like 
you you parry something and then you can do whatever you want. But then Colleen, like in Street Fighter V, that's a parry, right? But you can't do whatever you want. Uh, and you don't take damage. You don't like absorb any damage from the armor property. So they're like, I don't know, I feel like they're very similar properties. So, stance? And then I guess the question is, like, is this one of the options or is this because Manon hit her? Like, does this happen because Manon hit her? Or is it Marissa canceling into something else after the stance? Like, is this just a move you can do? So the reason why I think this is interesting is because what may end up happening or will be a good option, sorta, I think, still risky, but a good option against the drive rush. <laughs> the drive rush, you can't block. So then I was thinking, what if you can drive rush with something with armor? So because they're incentivized to do uh, EX reversal, then maybe you can just armor through that EX reversal. And then if that, if that armor move or whatever is safe, uh, then you might have something pretty interesting going. Uh, it just really depends on what this is and if it's safe on block. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if this is something that Marissa does guaranteed or not. I like the stage theme. This one's actually decent. If they just keep if they just keep their themes as simple like this, I think they'll be alright. And then it does. Yeah. Alright, let me pay attention to Marissa. I really have not looked enough at what Marissa is doing. I've been looking at other perspectives of characters. Man is one of the few characters I thought I'd like, but did. She looks good. Dude, her footsie. She's got footsies in a command grab. She got a good anti air. She's gonna be really good. Like her. Have you seen her like crouching heavy kick thing? Sweep looking move? That looks crazy. It's like a Dawson normal. Like it's absolutely absurd how good she can probably whip punch. But it seemed like there was an Oki after it. Look at that! That's not even. You can't even exaggerate how much reach this has. I don't know why her butt is so bony, but look at where they're at. If this was Street Fighter V, Manon would stop walking backwards. She would not be able to walk away from this. Good lord. And this is probably not reactable either. There's no way that this is 15 frame startup, right? Well, actually, let's, let me just kind of get an idea of it. So let's say this is frame one. 17. Well, it is pretty slow. Maybe it won't be so bad. And I think it's gonna lose the drive impact as well because it's only two hits. Dude, there's no way. There's no way that's 17 frames. I don't know. I might try to parry that and see what happens. Regardless though, it doesn't matter. If you can still whiff punish with that. Crazy. It seems way faster. Yeah, I almost want to count it again. Seventeen? Maybe. We just gotta see what happens. <laughs> just find out. I guess that's safe. How much damage is this doing to the drive gauge? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Man, it has almost two bars. That does a chunk. That does a chunk. That does a chunk. There's probably gaps in between these, though. Wow. I'm gonna play this character. One person in my YouTube comments put it out, like, looking at the startup frames to see if something reactable is goofy. And they're not wrong. But it's the starting point. I think looking at startup is the beginning to understanding it. Look at how much startup it has, and then look at the animation, hitboxes, hurtboxes, and all that. <laughs> New baby smell. Poop? New baby smell is poop and pee. What do you mean? Parry is going to be really important for conserving your meter in this game. Because if you block something, you just straight up lose it. But if you parry, at least you don't lose it. Wow. <laughs> Her super is kind of dumb. <laughs> what are we going to do? All right, hear me out. She's going to punch you. All right, then what? That's it. <laughs> Ooh, 
This one's 13 frames. This one's 15 frames. They changed it. What? Nice conclusion. Nice YouTube content. <laughs>